Somebody yesterday, I thought, said it very well, right? As you might imagine from, uh, you know, three years ago or, you know, in, it, uh, going back to, uh, to Tunis at that point, I was sort of wearing a government hat. Um, but at the time, if you recall, business was very nervous about IGF. You know, what is this going to mean? Uh, well, I can tell you now, having been at Cisco and working with the, the entire business community, somebody said yesterday, you know, fear is declining or gone. Engagement is growing. People actually are talking to each other, right? Finding common ground on issues on the substance of the issues. And this is where I think that what Parminder has said cannot also be um, uh, overstated. Uh, we still have, I think, too much discussion at the meta level or the institutional level or talking about process. Um, I think there's huge, we can talk about later, huge advantages moving forward and moving issues forward collaboratively together. And some of the concrete benefits that have come out of this have been the regional and national uh, meetings creating a fabric coming out of IGF which is not just an annual meeting. Because if that's all it is, right, it's a lost opportunity. At the national level, there are multi-stakeholder meetings and dialogues on an ongoing basis in the UK, Germany, France, um, Latin America. Um, there's going to, you know, there's even work that we're going to hear more about, uh, I think, later today going forward um, in Africa and, uh, for West Africa, I'm sorry, East Africa and Kenya. Um, certainly hope to see more of that, and I actually would uh, hope that we would see much more of that as we prepare for Egypt next year. Um, these events are building greater exchanges between policymakers, business, and civil society outside of here, as beyond IGF. And I think uh, moving to you know, Parminder's point about issues, um, it, it is about capacity building both in terms of individuals as well as uh, nations. Uh, it, you know, one of my um, uh, little you know, frustrations with uh, this week has been the theme is you know, uh, you know, essentially internet for all. Um, there's a lot that can be done on sharing best practices. Uh, people can take home. How do we be able, how can we be able to uh, extend the internet and broadband everywhere? Um, and yet, you know, we've had some of that, but I don't think there's been enough of that. That, those things are very, very concrete. How do we um, enable uh, participation on the demand side with applications and use? We've had some great exchanges on, um, uh, multilingual uh, access uh, to internet, local content, local language. Some very concrete things came out of last year on uh, local language that people actually are developing products and services based upon that to extend internet access um, uh, to um, uh, people um, across the globe in local languages. Uh, earlier, um, you know, just uh, as we're waiting to come up here, somebody pointed out that, you know, three years ago in Athens, one of the hot issues was uh, some of the human rights questions. Well, what came out of that? Some very concrete things with, uh, is it the WNI uh, the initiative that, I'm sorry, the, G the GNI, um, the Global uh, uh, Network Initiative uh, that came out of that. Very concrete, addressing some of these questions. Um, you know, that would not have happened. Uh, the other advantage of uh, the IGF without having a sort of lockdown agenda and the MAG is terribly important because it's dynamic, it's open, and it's flexible, right? So if you look at a lot of the issues that are emerging on t this year's agenda as we begin to think about next year's, you know, three years ago, if you go back to, to Tunis or you go back to Athens, environmental issues, green issues, uh, sustainability issues really were not top of mind. Those are now actually top of mind issues that are terribly important. And again, information sharing uh, across regions, I think, is enormously beneficial. But I can also tell you it's enormously beneficial to hear from people in other sectors. The multi-stakeholder approach works. And I think we just need more of that more generally. Um, having been formerly in government and Olga's currently in government, I think, you know, we would both you know, say that uh, you know, not all of the best ideas reside in government. Um, and what we need to hear are sort of bubbling up ideas. Uh, and it's the same thing for business. So thanks, and we'll have more discussion.